There are various competing media layer protocols designed or adapted solely for IoT solutions. Here we present the most prominent ones. The ZigBee, Z-Wave, Six Lopen, and Thread protocols, all of them use the 802.15.4 physical and media access control low rate wireless personal area network standards. ZigBee protocol is so far very popular in smart house applications, but also in industrial solutions. ZigBee is a wireless technology developed as an open standard to address the need of low cost, low power wireless mesh to mesh networks. It's more popular in the industry, however, because of the relatively higher cost of equipment in comparison with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or other RF modules. The ZigBee standard operates on the radio bands 2.4 GHz for smart home applications, 950 MHz in the US and Australia, 868 MHz in Europe and 784 MHz in China. The advantage of ZigBee is the possibility of forming the mesh networks, where nodes are interconnected with others. So, there are multiple paths connecting each pair of nodes. Connections are dynamically updated, so when one node turns off, the path going through that node will be automatically rerouted via another path. Transmission speed is up to 250 kilobits per second. Critical range is up to 100 meters, but usually to some 10 to 30 meters. Zigbee doesn't provide direct unique IP addressing on the networking layer like in example 6 Lopan or Thread do. Single Zigbee network can handle up to 65,000 devices. Z-Wave is a protocol similar in principle to the Zigbee, but hardware is cheaper to see this more towards inexpensive home automation systems. Like in Zigbee, Z-Wave operates on the different frequencies depending on the world region and usually between 865 and 926 MHz. Transmission speed is up to 200 kilobits per second and the range is up to 100 meters. A single Z-Wave network is pretty limited on the number of concurrent devices in one network that is only 232 devices. Each Z-Wave network has a unique ID and each node in the network has a unique A-bit identifier. By the aforementioned, there do exist other like, in example, popular near-field communication that is a technology that enables two-way interaction between electronic devices. What is significant for NFC, one of the devices doesn't require to be equipped with the power source. It is powered by the receiving radio signal. That's why NFC is used in contactless cards technology enabling devices to exchange the data at a very short distances. Transmission speed varies between the 100 and 420 kilobits per second. Range between both active devices is up to 10 centimeters. The popular operating frequency is 13.56 megahertz. For long-range communication, there is a quickly growing number of applications using long-range one-area network, shortly LoRaWAN. LoRa is the technology for data transmission with relatively low speed some 20 bits per second to 41 kilobits, and the range about 2 kilometers. New transceivers can transmit data up to 15 kilometers. It uses crisp spread spectrum modulation on the 433, 868 and 915 megahertz industrial, scientific and medical, shortly ISM, radio band, depending on the continent, of course. The cell topology is the star with the gateway placed in the central point and devices use one-hop communication with the gateway that is connected to the standard IP network with a central network server. The LoRa technology support as LoRaWAN by LoRa Alliance, designed as a Sigfox for public networks. But it can also be used in private networks that do not require a subscription. Sigfox standard is an idea to connect objects with sub 1 GHz radio frequency. It uses the 900 MHz frequency range from the ISM band. The range is about 30 to 50 km in open space and 3 to 10 km in urban areas. This standard uses a technology called ultra-narrow band. It has been designed to transmit data with different speeds from 10 to 1000 bits per second. Thanks to small data packet, it consumes only 50 milliwatts of power. 
It is intended to create the public network only, so using Zigfox requires the subscription plan. Many, but not all, European countries are currently covered with Zigfox network, 